Huh. I love this little CD lip balm. Thing thing. Okay, so we've done a lot. Um, and I love how like they're all like building upon each other, right? Now I'm trying to be like, what what are you even talking about? Um, hold on, let me see something real quick. So, so far, I've talked about uh, spirituality in terms of, like, the holidays and, like, how those things are going and, like, rededicating ourselves to the service of God, right? And then the next one, we talked about spiritual warfare and what things happen once we are leading into being of service with God and those of us who are uh, devotees and wanting to, like, hold on to, like, certain principles and values um, that we're taught in terms of, like, being devoted to God and holding, uh, with holding, upholding God's values and stuff like that uh, we talked about how like there's times where spiritual attacks will happen towards us and stuff like that um as to why um spiritual warfare Well, the recording was good while it lasted. Um, <laughs> they kicked me out the room. Um, but you can tell that the gardeners are off at Etsy because look how beautiful. Look how freaking beautiful are the leaves. And they're like leaves falling everywhere. Like they have walk paths. Like I wish I had a camera because they have walk paths and things. Um, so. I wanted to finish where we started. Just finished getting the drove out the way. Um, I always be feeling like there be hella delays when I'm trying to like get into joke. I know I'm like trying to find like a comfortable way to like sit and read and all of the things. Okay. It's so damn cold. It's in the sun out. I miss the sun so much. I miss her so freaking much. So going back to Joe, right? So yes, yeah, so in our recap, we've um more podcast. Oh, because I fucking closed the damn thing. Shit. Okay, so in our recap of um One second. Okay. Anyways, so in our recap, we saw, we discussed, you know, what things will be happening. I hate that you messed up my flow. Uh, what things will be, is happening uh, or will be like occurring and shit like that. Yeah, like I said, I can empress. The right empress. Is this part doesn't like me? But at least we got our by enemy necessary reading out the way, right? I'm not reading the discussion out the way. Um, so yeah, so in the discussion, we just talked about how, like, yes, yeah, so as you're going through your role in, with God and stuff like that, there are situations, there are obstacles that are coming your way, right? And there's times where God is going to call you to fight. And you're like, fight? <laughs> fight? Like, what do you mean? Like, I just thought, like, I was just supposed to serve you and, like, go about my business, right? But then there's things that will come and attack you, wanting you to stop, wanting you to deter yourself away from God and away from your your devotedness, your loyalty towards God, right? So you think about, it's, in a sense, it's like, you're in a relationship with somebody and like it's a really great relationship like y'all growing y'all expanding y'all evolving and then there people see that 
and they don't like that relationship that you know the beauty of that and they want to like get in, into it right like their ego wants them to break y'all up and so they're gonna do it all the things necessary right like try to flirt with you um you know try to talk down on your person whatever whatever they need to do to try to get in the way of that relationship right or vice versa some bitch might come with your nigga and she might start like, sending him news and all of these things and stuff like that and flirting with him and trying to entice him and stuff like that um because she sees that he madly in love with you and so that's the same thing and when it comes to a relationship with god like you will be like really focused and really like just encouraged and motivated to go with, with god and do what god is really calling you and pulling you to do and then there's obstacles and things to try to get you in try to get you to stop that right so those are what spiritual warfare and spiritual attacks are they're, they're attempts to try to get you to tear away from god right to break up with that person and stuff like that um to get to that guy their boyfriend to cheat on you um with that girl so then it breaks up y'all relationship and the beauty of y'all y'all coupleness that other people see and they want they just out of their jealousy and so um and so sorry i was looking at the squirrel and so um malcolm x is saying like you know reuse Malcolm X in the in the the notion of like you know what um I'm all like we're all just here for unity for peace for you know community for education for all of the things right um but what we're not gonna do is just allow y'all to punk us like you know what I mean so it's the same thing with like God would say like you know I'm all for you being devoted but don't don't be a punk to the demons don't be a punk to the devil like he could try to test you you try to do things but don't let you know to try to deter you from my from our relationship with each other and from what I have you doing but don't stop what I'm having you do it but also don't let them just kind of you know punk you and take advantage of you and stuff like that and that's why i told you guys in this reading in the reading um for our new year is that yes obstacles are being thrown at us because you and god are like moving and, and just gliding through life right now and there's going to be obstacles and swords of coming against you and it really is the death of the people pleaser and it really is you embracing the fact that people are about to call you a bitch because now you're sticking up for yourself now you're talking back now you're not you holding up your boundaries now you're doing these things right uh, but also you ain't you know like you could like for instance so I believe in respect right and respecting it's like the whole honor thy mother and thy father, right? So I am big on like respecting my mother, respecting my elders, respecting just giving people whomever I meet to give them the utmost respect, right? But the moment in which you're disrespecting me, uh, it's a whole nother story. Damn who you are, your mama, mama, grandma, whoever it is. If you're coming at me foul, I'm going to respond in the same manner, right? I'm not just going to lay there and just allow you to keep talking about me or talking down to me or whatever case, right? So those are the things that Spirit is saying. Like, is it, but it's still not going to stop me from following Spirit. Like, you, I might have to address you real quick, but then I'm going to go back to my schedule, following my regular schedule program, right? And so Spirit, the thing is just not to let anything stop you from Spirit. And so I have this thing in my thoughts in my head, right? So like, if my mom was like to say, Ebony, you you need to get you need to go back to work or whatever, right? Um, you need to do whoop 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 and whoop whoop whoop. For me, it's like I understand what you said, but you can't tell me you're not you don't have the position or the place to tell me what to do, right? How to live my life. I'm going to continue to do this with God. And it, and that means that if if it comes at the expense of like a person kicking you out of their house because you want to follow the path of God, continue to follow the path of God, right? Because those are the obstacles, all these things that are trying to get you from that path, right? But you know that God calls you to do this thing, even though you don't understand why God called you to do it this way, right? So they told you, yeah. So like I'm gonna use um 
I'm going to use Imani's story because I think her story is perfect for this. So what she said was that I guess she got into some trouble with the laws or whatever. And then she had ended up coming back with her mom. And her mom, when she was moving with her mom, her mom, excuse me, I'm not even hurting her son right in the back. Her mom was like, um, what her mom say? Sorry. You're adorable and cute. I just love animals. Okay. So her mom was like, you have to go through this path and what I want you to do, right? In order for you to stay here under my roof. And she was like, nah, like I have, like I feel unction to go a different route and I'm going to do that. And so as a result, she ended up being kicked out. I don't know if she was kicked out or she left, right? Um, now, mind you, this is my own little quick synopsis of the story. <laughs> so, um, he's so cute. Look at you. <laughs> Okay, so, um, and so she ended up, so then she had, like, ended up being, like, on Skid Row and then having to, like, uh, you know, do all of the things. Um, she had to take, like, a lower, I don't know if it was, like, lower pay or, or whatever, but she had to work at a place where a lot of people who she grew up with was, like, going there and, like, really, like, mock making mockery out of her and stuff like that and you know how LA people be so they throw they're very shady right um LA LA is so fucking weird like their mindset is so fucking like they're so fucking stupid like they rather be shady than to respect the fact that you you have a hustle or you have a, a different like route in which you're going to get stuff so instead of like trying to understand like all that you're trying to do they will rather just be shady be like oh that bitch is working here da, da, da. or you know they be like oh little person got that little podcast woo, woo, woo. but then until you make it big and then once you make it big and shit then they be like oh i'm your fan of your fucking you. you know how la folks be so anyway so she did all that and that's what led into her becoming the hood healer and how be her how she ended up finding out that she had the gift of reading of reading people and stuff like that so now you see her and now she's you know a millionaire and has all of this stuff like that within a span of a couple of years but all of those things happened because she didn't go off of the route of her mother right she went off of the path of what she felt unctioned to follow god and so then so yeah and so that's what's going to be happening like there's going to be how somebody might want to kick you out somebody might want to fight you somebody might want to uh get you fired you know what i mean like all these different things may come come your way uh, but don't let that obstacle stop you from from whatever god and you had an agreement with right so god so krishna and arjuna had an agreement for arjuna to fight in this war but arjuna was like but <laughs> but this, but that, but woo, 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 right? And he's like, but still, you still need to continue. And he, he, his love for his family was the thing that he wanted to like, you know, like if her respect for her mom, her love and her respect and her need for who of her mom could have easily stopped her from going with the spirit, right? So she could have easily just went, all right, mom, you're right. Like I'm to stay in your room. Okay, I'm not going to do whatever we're going to do. I'm going to just do whatever you say I need to do. Arjuna would have been like, you know what? Like it, it's not that serious like I love them I'm not about to kill them like that's my family I'm not about to kill them so I'm about to just flee and not do you know not do my duty and so for you it may be you want this you want to have this job position but somebody told you don't move to get that to get that job position because or maybe like you were dating somebody and I told you to move to another state to fulfill your journey there but that person that you're dating isn't on one accord with it and they're threatening to break up with you would your love for that person, would you stay with that person instead of, uh, and deny God, right? Instead of denying God, you, you, deny, you deny God to stay with that person. But no, Spirit wants you to deny that love for that partner and go on with God. And then you'll see what happens later. You might see someone who is very, you might end up meeting the person you're meant to be with in and out of the other state. So just thinking about those things and like whatever obstacles or whatever other people are throwing your way, you need to follow God by any means necessary. Do whatever, by any means necessary to continue to 
to go out and follow your mat, your mission with God and where you and God have been feeling really called and really pulled to fulfill because you have a purpose here in life. And so we're getting back into Job, right? So Job right now, like we said, Job isn't going through a spiritual attack. He's going through a, he's in the middle of a spiritual warfare where the devil wants him to like deter away from his relationship with God, right? And so he took his kids, he took his um, health, he took all of these different things, right, away from him. And then his friends aren't having this understanding. His friends are like, well, obviously you've done something evil and you're not holding yourself you're not taking accountability for what you've done so what did you do instead of trying to say like i don't know why what did i did you know they're like what the fuck did you do because god is not gonna punish nobody uh, for the fuck of it right but they don't understand god's test or you know stuff like that and now I'm not in the mood to eat. <laughs> now I'm not in the room. Especially because I did this uh, the other week. And it didn't record. Like it recorded but the sounds didn't come up. And I was so irritated. But when I was doing it right. My neighbor had. Across the street neighbor. Had cussed his son out. Because he had ended up getting a, a parking ticket for parking on the same side of street clean he knows that he wasn't supposed to be parking on street clean so he's mad because his son had left with his grandpa to go somewhere and so he wasn't there to watch to watch it and tell his dad hey to wake his dad up from his sleep but if you knew you were going to sleep and you knew that it was a street clear you know you didn't want no ticket why you didn't just move the car before you went to sleep he don't do nothing he ain't got no job and so he um and so he got the ticket. Mind you, the parking enforcer hung and waited for a cool little minute before he gave him that ticket. Um, and so once he had it, he, it was for hours. He was going back and just cussing and being mad and stuff like that. Instead of holding himself accountable for the fact that it was him who should have never parked right there in the first fucking place if he knew that it was street clear. And it was cool because I saw his baby mama defend her son because I thought he she was just getting punked around over there, but she was she was going to defend her baby. She was like, stop talking to him like that. Stop talking to him like that. You shouldn't have that. That's not even your car. <laughs> she was like, that's not even your car. Stop calling me your car. <laughs> I was like, but this we real fucking sick. But anyways... As I was going through reading this, I just saw and learned how it was, um, and just see how it really was like um, a thing of unaccount of not having accountability. And as we're about to get into these three chapters with Job, we see how his friend is like, "You need to take accountability. Like, if you did something, say that you fucking did it instead of trying to be like, I don't know." I don't know why, right? So, like, say somebody was cheating and shit, and then they go on and tell somebody, oh, like, my girl left me. But like, well, what you do? And you're like, nothing. Like, I didn't do nothing. Like, I love her. Like, all I did was love her. I didn't do nothing. And she just up and left. And then the person is like, she's just not going to just up and leave if you ain't did shit. You had to do something. And they're like, no, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing, right? But they're going to find out they cheated. They didn't hold accountability. So that's what Job's friends think that Job is doing right now. Like, they think that Job did something, but he hiding his hand and being like, I didn't do nothing. And they're like, obviously you did because it's being shown. Like, what happens in the dark comes into the light. So obviously you did something that we're now was being publicly shown is your punishment. Right? And so he's we're just seeing this dialogue with him and his friends going back and forth questioning wickedness and questioning god and questioning how like if if a wicked if wicked things are happening to a person doesn't that make them a wicked person isn't that the clear signs of showing you that they're wicked and you need to stay away from them or is it a clear indication that they're not wicked like what is it what's what is it um why did i click on this i was going to look up something so sweet my mom sent me some money let me um hold on I'll talk to her let me uh lock this car before they try to spin me or something that's cute um and let me 
look and see what my EBT is doing right now. What's this got going on right now? Um, hold on, sorry. Let me just see how much EBT I got. That's so ghetto. That is so ghetto. And I do not care. Who gonna judge me? Who finna judge me? I'm kidding. You gotta judge me. I don't care. Just because you don't have your EBT. <laughs> but I do. Is you mad? Because I don't have the impacts of inflation like you. That sounds like a poem, huh? <laughs> o to EBT. <laughs> okay. Let's see how much I got my EBT. It should be loaded up today. Okay. Because I was in that room and I saw a shit ton of eight, 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 eight. And uh -huh, they gave me two hundred and eighty six dollars in EBT. Um, my question is when I'm am I going to go grocery shopping and go, you know, it's raining this week because I really wanted to have my veganism and spirit be like, stop with all them damn excuses and all I do is give excuses as to why I ain't vegan yet. <laughs> I'd be like, you know, because you know the how. Here with the one because it rains. Oh, it's not gonna rain Tuesday. Okay, I'll go tomorrow. I'll go to the grocery store tomorrow. My aunt's new schedule is like throwing me off. Um, it's about to rain for the next couple of weeks, it looks like. So, I gotta figure out what's my rainy day routine. I for sure will be here at SC a lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to start being here a lot because I want to go to the library. I want to check out the library a lot and be typing and stuff. But the library don't be open until 12. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, I am going to be doing a lot of writing. That's what I do need to do. Is write. Um, so I don't necessarily have to be going to places and I low key kind of want to get my gym membership popping again if it's just going to be raining and I can't walk on the beach like that like I'm like well maybe I should just get back into the gym but it's the first so that means I mean I can do the gym I can do the gym I want to go back to the gym anyways like I want to work out but I want it to be good when it comes to me, like, not only working out, but also eating right. Like, I want to eat right and work out, like, instead of just working out. Because um, I really do, I really do like the structure that the gym gives me and the focus. And it allows me to have, I don't know, it gives a better discipline than I thought when I was thinking that I was just going to do my walks at the beach. So, <laughs> I just be like, I don't know, just debating. But I do believe that, like, it may be that illusion was just me calling myself out <laughs> and thinking that it's pointless and, and an illusion if I don't, if I work out and I don't eat right. So I need to get back into eating right. Um, so, yeah, so I might reopen my gym membership and start going tomorrow or something, you know? Who knows? Who knows? Um, but other than that, we were supposed to get into Job. And so what I'm going to do is pause. And I'm going to go home. And I'm going to read the things. Get me an extra blanket and some stuff. And then read Job. And we'll teach Job as I uh, do that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'll see you when I get home. So, this is like a weird choppy video, okay? So, you wonder why it keeps chopping and I keep breaking and stuff. I kind of want to put these glasses back on. Okay. But, don't look like I kill people. <laughs> Giving blade or something like that. 
I really want to be like I really feel like because the way like how dark my sense of humor is I feel like I should probably start getting into writing more like horror films or like not horror but like thriller I like thrillers I don't like horror do not give me no satanic shit none of that I like uh I like thrillers where it's like you with suspense but it's not so maybe like a thriller comedy or something I don't know but yes yeah, so I'm getting back to this so yeah I'm gonna go home we're gonna read those three things and we're gonna, we kind of already described and discussed it a little bit but now it's just about actually no today instead of me reading it I want you to read it um you I read it so I want you to read 32 33 and 34 um, read those three and just this is discussion with his friend and then um I would love it if you would like put it in the comments like what your interpretation was or like what was something that struck out to you what was something that a lesson that you learned or just a thought or even if it's not even like you learned something it's a question that you had put it in the um put it in the thing put it in the um the comment and um in the comments if you if you actually read it right if you read those two those things so read 30 32 33 34 and then when i come back i'll mix start I'll start with 35 um so yeah because i was like i don't want to read it over again um so and i don't feel called to read it over like every time i open it i'm like oh, i don't want to read those chapters again because i really did like it was like two it was like two it was like a little over two hours i think of a video but a lot of it was uh, distractions and i was like uh, uh, what's that what's that <laughs> um so yes so i kind of gave you like a, a synopsis of what it is what it's about and it's just going over like the thing the concept of of evil of wickedness right and and taking accountability and the thing is is the difference between spiritual warfare and you doing shit and you getting your karma and how to be able to determine because we'll have like these markers right we'll have these markers and be like okay the person is hitting these markers then they're this right so if they got their crystals their meditation videos and and poses and pictures and shit like that and they say, say all these key terms these key mainstream terms of spirituality then i would say that they're spiritual but if they say this that and third then i will say that they're not right we'll put you either this or you're that but we won't talk about the gray areas the the exceptions to the rules the you know all of the things right and so i want you just to talk about it's it's going to be joe talking about like how how he's integral then it's going to be um his friend talking about but are you though like you know what i mean so and it was really actually it's in these chapters is this discussion between him and this guy who was eavesdropping off of his conversation with his friends um and the guy's just basically just kind of being like you need to hold accountability like and really profess that you that you was doing something because obviously it's clear right and so if you didn't right if you wasn't cheating on somebody and they just up and left and they just ghosted you like damn what did i do was i too much was i too this that and the third and it was just like no they just ghosted somebody would say you had to do something why would they ghost you like that you had to be a nag were you texting them all the time what you doing you're like no like no <laughs> we were just having a great time and they just disappeared right um and so that's what joe joe was like no like everything was going great and then it wasn't shit hit the fan the hoo -ah, hoo -ah, right um so i want you to go and read those three chapters um they are long so take your time and then come back and just tell me some of the insights that you have maybe you want to give your own synopsis of what those chapters whatever you feel called to in terms of what you wanted to say and discuss with it because i hate sometimes when you be like okay like i want you to answer this question but you actually wanted to say something totally different um so say that like i want you to whatever if you wanted to stimulate a discussion if you want something for me to talk about in regards to that um put that in the comments and um and then i'll do so and then or like you know we could just have like a, a conversation kind of being conducted in the comments if you feel so and don't feel like you don't know nothing about something maybe this is your first time even reading christian bible books just it, stop
stop overthinking. <laughs> do uh, just just say what you gotta say. If you feel like your spelling ain't that great or your grammar, bitch, I don't care. I could read. Um, <laughs> and reading between the lines. I always used to hate when people used to be like, "Wait, what you mean?" And all I did was like had one spelling error or some shit. Like, bitch, you fill in the blanks. So I will. His hair is magnificent. It's just blowing in the wind, all kinky and shit. I love it. I'm here for it. Um, but yes, yeah, so whatever discussions, whatever you feel called to say, um, after reading it, maybe it was just a thought that popped up, a question that popped up, an insight, maybe it was a memory. Um, and maybe you don't want to go into the details of that memory, but you wanted to share some pointers of it, like, oh, like it, rem- it reminded me of an interaction I had with my mama, um, uh, regarding blah blah blah, blah right? <laughs> or it reminded me of a time I got in trouble as a kid, like, you ain't got to go into the full details if you don't want to do all that, um. But yeah, I just want to know what kind of thoughts stimulated for you um, reading those three chapters. And if you don't want to do those three chapters and you want to kind of kind of give like a little a thing about what you if you've been reading along with me so far as we've gone through this, this series um, and how it's like been applying to you in terms of your life. Right. Maybe you I remember at work, I was kept getting in trouble at work and they were like, what do you do? You're doing something. You're doing something. You're doing something. I'm like, no, like this lady is like she's finding little things and expanding it because she has her own agenda right but yes so do that what i say 32 33 34 because we did 31 in the other video um and then yeah so and then from there i would the next video i will be doing will start and be 35 36 37 and then we'll be done almost done because it ends with 42 okay so just read these these yourself because yeah all right bye guys